And we are back live here in El Paso, Texas. And here comes one half of the challengers, Dana Brooks. No doubt about it, Dana Brooks. Looking to give it her all tonight. Please join the following contest, a Tornado Tag Team TLC match. And it's for the HWF Women's World Tag Team Championships. Interesting one out of the challenges first. From Cleveland, Ohio, Dana Brooks. Well, Dana Brooks, on the other hand, it looks like Dana is ready to go, hoping to win her first major championship throughout her career. But knowing Dana Brooks has never been given the opportunity to become champion, but she hopes by God tonight will be that night. I don't even know what's gonna happen because Dana Brooks has gotta stay focused with her tight team partner, Charlotte Flair, knowing this matchup is TLC rules. The only to win the match is to climb the ladder and gain possession of the prize. No doubt about it, as we already know that there are no pinfalls, no submissions, no countouts, no disqualifications. Well, bottom line is, anything goes in this match. I did knock out your opponent, or should I say opponents, and climb the ladder and gain possession of the titles. And uh oh, here comes the queen, Charlotte Flair. No doubt about it. And her tight team partner from the Queen City. Charlotte Flair! Well, Charlotte Flair, former HWF Women's Champion, former TNW Divas Tag Team Champions, would love more than anything to make history tonight and become the former first Lost MC member to win the HWF Women's World Tag Team titles. Tell me about it. On the other hand, though, this is going to be an all-out war tonight for Charlotte hoping to add some championship gold to her resume tonight. Not that bad, hoping to add some tag team titles to her resume once again tonight, but none bigger than the HWF Women's World Tag Team titles. And you can tell Charlotte is not gonna give up in this match. She is focused, she is determined, and by God, she is ready to fight. That's what, what happens ever seen before about GGB has missing once again. It has been what happens. All friends has been saved his life to the Cerudo and now he's been trapped in different dimensions in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. With all what happens, we'll find out that the CGTP will find him, which will decide to the Rocky. And we are back live here. I had to apologize earlier, folks. We had to take a break, it looked like. And the match is going on in the, TN in the HWF Women's World Tag Team titles on the line here at TNW Road to Redemption in El Paso, Texas. Here we go. Well, it all started. The champions came out and viciously attacked Charlotte and Dana. They didn't want to wait for the bell to, to even ring. Here we go. TLC underway. And the only thing legal are chairs and tables. Heck, you might even see a kendo stick as far as I know. And Charlotte Flair with a flatjack on Nico Robin. Dana Brooks and Charlotte working together once again. But how are these two gonna coexist? As they're right now working together to win the HWF Women's World Tag Team titles. Right now, I'm currently worried about their early problems from the past. Tell me about it. As you can tell, Charlotte right now taking Nami down by a leg, and a four on the face on Nami, and a backbreaker by Nico Robin to Dana. Oh, she saw the slap coming. Ducks that into a clothesline. And a leg drop from Nico Robin, and now Nami goes underneath the ring. Well, like I said, tables, ladders, and chairs, which means anything goes. And Nami from behind with a chair. She's swinging for the fences with that chair, taking Charlotte Flair down. 
One more can happen here. Oh, there's a roundhouse kick from Nami. Like I said, kendo sticks are legal as well. And Nico Robin had no idea. Dana was right behind her. Went for the shot and it connected a little bit. Right in the back of Dana's head. And Alutha's pressed by Nami. Well, luckily slamming Dana Brooks' head. And Charlotte taking something out of her father's playbook. When her father, Ric Flair, won the TNW ECW World United States Tag Team titles earlier tonight. And a figure four off the steel post on Nico Robin. And Dana showing off. That's not a smart move there by Dana Brooks, one half of the challengers. And thus far, though, Charlotte was the only one getting dominated in the early goings in this HWF Women's World Tag Team title match. And now Dana launching Nico right on the other side of the ring as Nico Robin is in trouble. Well, the, the Straw Hats are in trouble. And it looks like Dana Brooks has got the steel chair. And, oh, scoop slam coming. No, Charlotte reversed it. Whoa, wait a minute. What was that? Uh-oh. I think that was meant for Nico Robin, but inadvertently hitting Charlotte. And one after the champion is taking advantage of the situation. And uh oh, Charlotte back to her feet and she just realized it. That Nami set it, sized up the ladder. Nami trying to go up top, but she noticed Charlotte was back to her feet. Goes for the drop kick, and one half of the challengers is down. And Nami just trying to help out Nico Robin here, trying to make sure that both the challengers are down to ensure that both the champions. Pulls up and retains the titles tonight. And I may have spoken too soon. Nico Robbins got one half of the championships in her hands, but Dana coming in to prevent it from happening. Dana goes for the right hands to the gut, and Nico Robin is in trouble. But uh oh, Dana's in trouble. Has no idea Nami is solidly behind her. And like she just did it. Nami pushing Dana down off the ladder. Dana Brooks is down, and the Red House kick lights out. And uh-oh, the Queen is back to her feet. Charlotte with the right hand, and now Dana going up top, trying to stop Nico Robin. Looks like they're working together here. Can Dana Brooks, Charlotte Flair, can they coexist? Can they win the HWF Women's World Tag Team titles? Because the team that wins this match are the HWF Women's World Tag Team Champions. No doubt about it. Drop kick from Charlotte. And the Queen takes down Nami. The ship's navigator in trouble. But Nico Robin in the meantime, though, is down on the outside. Right in front of my announcer's table. And Nami down. Oh, my God. Charlotte gloating. Realizing that she has this one in the bag. It's good God Almighty. And Dana from behind with a bulldog. And Nami being brought back into the ring the hard way as Dana Brooks has got the steel chair. This time connects on Nami's back. God, what a shot with that chair. And now Nico Robin pushing the ladder down, preventing that from happening. And a spear by Charlotte. Powerbomb by Nico. The spear by Charlotte Flair takes down Nami. Nico going for the right hand, but she missed. And uh oh. Nico Robin has got her. And now she goes for the gory bomb. She's in a link great Eddie Goodetto and knocks the steel chair right out of Charlotte Flair's hands and Nami from behind. I was shocked enough that Charlotte still had the steel chair in her hands, but not anymore she does it. And, ah! Charlotte back up. And launching Nami over the top. And uh-oh. The Queen is going for her patented maneuver. Natural selection. Natural selection. And Nico Robin is down and out. And now Nami back inside the ring. Launching Charlotte right over the top rope. And Nami is screaming out to these fans, this one is over. 
Uh oh, both challengers are back in the ring, and Charlotte lost over the top, and Nico Robin climbing up the ladder. But Dana from behind, and Nami from behind. Launching Dana Brooks right over the top, trying to get her out of the ring here. Trying to keep both challengers at bay, making sure that they don't win the titles here. Whoa! And Dana with a shot on Nico Robin. And the Straw Hats are not giving up. Knowing the HWF Women's World Tag Team titles are on the line here. That bitch chop and Dana Brooks is down. And you can tell Charlotte Flair is not giving up. And neither is Dana Brooks. Knowing the HWF Women's World Tag Team titles are all on the line here. And the Straw Hats aren't giving up either. As now they got the ladder. And there's the Rat House kick. Taking Dana Brooks down right off her feet. And show it back up. Rat House kick on Dana. Lights out. But the Queen is back to her feet. But Nico Robin climbs up and just gives the title. But Charlotte prevented it. And Charlotte trying to take down Nico Robin. But Nami went for the right hand. But oh God, Nico went down like a... Like a rag doll, right off that ladder. And Nico Robin slammed on the other side of the ring like a rag doll. I put shop coming, no. And Nico Robin launching Dana right over the top, but Charlotte from behind with a rushing leg sweep. But Charlotte again gloating. That's not smart on the Queen's part. That may come back to haunt her, but then again, maybe not, as Nico goes down to the outside, took it off right off that apron. And Dana is back to her feet, and Charlotte makes the climb up. Oh, that's smart on one half of the challenger's part, as Dana Brooks has brought Nico Robin back into the ring. Can Charlotte pull off the hook? Can we have new champions? Can they do it here? They did it! Charlotte Flair and Dana Brooks are the new HWF Women's World Tag Team Champions. That red house kick by Nami did the damage on Charlotte. And so did this shiny wizard on Dana Brooks. And then bam, a spear by Charlotte on Nami and the other goings. And there's that red house kick. And then Charlotte made the climb up and gained possession of the prize, the HWF Women's World Tag Team Championships. And by God, they done it. We got new champs. Here are your winners. And the new HWF Women's World Tag Team Champions, Charlotte Flair and Dana Brooks. What a moment for Charlotte and Dana Brooks making history tonight by winning the HWF Women's World Tag Team titles. And this is a first for Charlotte, winning not only the TNW Divas Tag Team Championships, but also winning the HWF Women's World Tag Team Titles. What a moment for the Queen as she made history tonight. And right now, though, folks, stick around because coming up next, one of our main events of the evening, Kofi Kingston defends his HWF World Heavyweight Title against the challenger from ACW, the one and only Ricochet. Oh boy, that's going to be big, and it's live, and it's coming to you up next.